afternoon, everybody. Uh, I've been given three minutes. That was uh, three minutes Central European time. I work in Irish time, so that means about an hour. Is that? That's about right. I'll be very brief. Um, the theme for the Patient Advisory Committee of ECHO for two years during the present chairmanship is collaboration. And we've already had a meeting, a joint meeting, with ESMO's and patient advisory group as well. And the idea behind this is really um, quite basic and simple, is that by working together we can produce um, an output which is greater than the sum of the parts. And nothing could be more true than when it comes to um, personalized medicine. So it's, it's very important, for instance, that you're aware of the, oncology, uh, the, the Oncopolicy Forum uh, meeting, which is uh, on the 11th of October in Brussels. And the information for that uh, is, is on the website for, for ECHO. I'm not going to go into all of the details. But the reason why it's critical is, is because w embedded within the agenda, the program of the, uh, of the meeting, is a, spe a specific section about the, the role of patients. Now, this is an advocacy forum we're talking about here, and advocacy comes with a price. And the price is responsibility. And in the case of us, for the patient um, uh, advocacy groups, that responsibility is, is to prove that by involving patients in all of the steps of the patient journey involves the guidelines, involves in the production of the new drugs, in the policy decisions, even within the politicians and so on, we have to prove that by having patients involved on those basic levels that you can improve the outputs. And thankfully, we're starting to show that by involving patients in that very basic way, you can improve the outputs, not just for the patients in terms of, of the likes of personalized medicine, but actually for the, the quality of, the, of, uh, of enjoyment of the work for the health professionals, the carers, and even, dare I say it, onto the economy itself. So these are huge stakes upon which we are, we, are, we are playing for here by actually working together, not least in personalized medicines, to improve, improve outcomes because everybody's on a win-win on a, on a, on a um, um, situation. I've just had a meeting with Cathy Redburn, and we've been talking there about the, um, the joint conference with, uh, uh, in Amsterdam for 2013. And embedded again in that conference will be all of the patient areas to do um, with, 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 uh, with, with cancer. And in there again will be personalized medicines. Now, what is becoming very clear from this, and I'm, I'm ending now, but what is going to come very clear from this is one of the meetings we had in ECHO was on guidelines. And when the survey which was given out to all of the people involved in, uh, in, in, in guideline production was returned, they found most of the boxes which said, were patients involved in the production of this guideline were ticked yes. But when you scratched the surface on this, you found, in fact, that the patients were involved at very differing levels. From one extent, right from the basic production of the guideline itself, to right up to the top, where it actually said, here's a guideline, have a look at it, tell us if you like it. That was the difference. We have to not only look at the quantity of the input of the, uh, from, from patients' groups, but the quality as well. The value of, the, of, of having the patients involved. And the one thing that we know is certain is that but through the medical profession training and nursing profession training and so on, does very often tend to work in sometimes the ideal world. And that by having the patients involved from that very basic level, it, it nails down the production of things like guidelines, the production of, of ideas to do with personalized medicine in the real world of which patients actually live. And that is absolutely essential for the best possible outcome, for the best possible person's use of personalized medicine. Because in the patient's view, personalized medicine means them. That's what it actually boils down to for them. So I'm delighted that we've got the opportunity to look at collaboration in the broadest possible sense and to improve outcomes, not least in personalized medicine. Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you.